Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumet channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hallyard N95 respirator. These according to the Amazon listing are a ASTM level 3 mask. They come in a box of 35. This listing has a 4.2 out of 5 rating with over 2,000 reviews. So these are a duckbill style. A lot of people are not a fan of these masks. Maybe it's because of the way that they look but other people love them so let's go ahead and see how they look. They come in a 35 pack, as I mentioned, and these are actually a very different color compared to others that we've tried. These come with the manufacturer, the N95 model, the NIOSH stamp, as well as the TC approval number, and then the size, it says that it's a regular size. This respirator doesn't come with the lot number on the respirator, but it does have it on the actual box. These are actually pretty thick, but the inner layer, it is a very different texture than other N95 respirators that we've tested. So let's go ahead and put it on. If you've seen our previous videos, you know that I'm not quite a big fan of these sort of headbands. Just because I know that if they do rip when I'm putting them on, it's definitely going to hurt. So let's go ahead and try it on and see how they fit. These bands are very, very tight. So I do feel like they are digging on the side of my face. So like I said, they do have a very different look compared to a bifold or trifold respirator so the sturdy nose wire is creating a good seal for me on the top of the face but i am still getting a little bit of leakage on the, under the face mask i do feel like it is creating a lot of moisture and maybe it's because of the layers that it has but i am finding it very difficult to breathe so with that being said let's go ahead and see how these tests on our tsi machine we're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop this is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 96.90% with a pressure drop of 9.8 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 97.45 and a pressure drop of 10.1 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 98.45 and had a pressure drop of 10.3 millimeters of water. Overall, as you guys saw from the TSI results, these respirators are well within the N95 requirements. Although they did test on the lower side when it comes to filtration efficiency, we typically like to see 98 and above. And for the pressure drop, they were between 11 millimeters of water, which isn't bad. In terms of comfort, these aren't as comfortable as other N95 respirators. I don't think that I'll be able to wear this during an eight hour shift. They were extremely tight on me, so I feel like these are definitely more on the smaller side because they were tight on me and I do have a smaller face. So if you do have a larger framed face, I wouldn't really recommend these N95 respirators. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let us know what mask we should test next or if you'd like to send in a mask or respirator, we're gonna be leaving our address in the description box below as well as our website, which is acumed.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.